Hello friends, today we are going to learn about uh, how to integrate Google Map autocomplete to any contact us form on your DB website. So without uh, wasting time, let me show you what we are going to do in today's tutorial and what we are going to achieve. So this is a website which I have built for the uh, one of my clients. So in his website, what I have done. I have created this a contact us form and now you can see this auto complete google map is coming here so in this tutorial we are going to see how to achieve this kind of thing so let's directly move to our tutorial website so uh, in order to achieve this uh, this functionality we would be requiring firstly we would be requiring a contact us form plugin and second one is we would be requiring this plugin autocomplete google address and third one we would be requiring google api and fourth one we would be needing a uh, one more plugin uh, called db contact us form this is the plugin we would be requiring to design our db uh, means contact us form on our db website i have already installed these all the three plugin and now what we have to do is like we have to create uh, we have to go to contact us create a new form so let's give it a contact form test this is the normal format so let's give a label over here and you need to you need to add a text uh, field text field let's give it a name and over here the plugin which we are using for autocomplete require the form id so by default if you are not able to find it from the css uh, the any id so you can even give the manually the id for any uh, field for example let's say we will give this uh, form uh, means this field id of place okay so this is the uh, id of our this field and for this field only we are going to integrate the google map autocomplete so now let's close this label what uh, the styling thing uh, which i have asked you to download this contact us form 7 styler would be getting uh, fields like raw column column 2 column 3 column 1 uh, for 1 by 4 2 by 3 so these are the columns wise you can you can design your form so for example let's say if we're in a single row if you want four columns so you can you know select this thing but if you want uh, but if you want single uh, single row or a single column in uh, any row so what you will do you need to first of all give a row over here and like this is the uh, starting tag and this is the closing tag so you have to take this closing tag and you have to paste it uh, after the label or a field which is over so we will click so in this uh, in uh, means in this tutorial or in this example we are taking single row only we are not taking multiple columns but if you want to take multiple columns in a single row you can always select from the above so let me just come quickly copy and paste all this now copy the id which we have given so just copy this id and when you will download this plugin this auto complete plugin so you would be getting this uh, option of autocomplete you have to go over the here so this is my google uh, google api google place api uh, for which i will be telling you how to get this api and here is the form id which you have to give 
सो यू कैन हैव मल्टीपल मल्टीपल फील्ड्स इन विच यू कैन यू कैन डिस्प्ले द मैप और ऑटो कंप्लीट सो लेट से आई हैव ऑलरेडी यूज दिस टू फील्ड आई in my different form so the in today's tutorial we have given the id of this one so what you have to do is like you have to not paste this id or with it only play uh, only put the id name so our id name is place so we will enter it and save it now i am going to tell you how to get the api for the uh google map so uh, you need to create account on console.google.cloud.google.com uh, i would be linking this website link in the description so what you have to do is like you have to go to the marketplace and you need to enable the two forms uh, means you need to enable the two apis first is place api so as you can see you have to search or you can search it you have to just search place api and you have to enable it and after that you need to uh, install one more api google map javascript so this is the another api which you need to uh, install it you have to go to the api and services now here what you have to do is like you have to go to the credential and now from here you can create the credential and you can generate the api from the here and one more thing is that to add billing details over here means you have to add the credit card details over there then only you would be able to create the api so like we will name our page test contact and we will be designing it over db builder the module over here and we would be selecting our form so this is our form contact us form 7 test now as you can see the field has already come over here now we can design it so you can give the text over here you can you know change the font of here now if we want to design the button we can even design our button let's give it a black and increase the width change the so this is the designing part you can do also later also or you can design as per your requirement so now let me just show you whether we have uh, able to achieve that uh, place uh, api or, or means auto complete option or not now as you can see intel location we have got let me just add tally so finally we have got that functionality of auto complete hope you enjoy this small tutorial do subscribe to this youtube channel because more tutorial videos are coming thank you